Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year, happy 2015. Super excited that we've made it this far. Today I have my very exciting intro for my Project 20 Pan. And I'm doing things a little bit differently, or at least differently for me. So I've chosen 10 items in two categories. The first category is items that I want to finish completely. So I will show you those items first before I move on into part two. So the first thing that I chose um, to finish up is this deluxe sample of the Benefit Fake Up Concealer. I've really been enjoying this concealer. This is a potential like full size purchase item. So I really wanna give the deluxe sample size a really good use and Project Pans are perfect for that because they really teach you the things that you like and the things that you don't like and how to work with different products. So that's all I have there because there's not a lot of product in this, but it is a concealer so it will take some time to use anyway. And I think with that one, there's definitely the ability to use a brush to get more product out of it as well. The next item is a returning candidate from my last Project Pan. So you might recognize this guy. This is the Too Faced Candlelight. This is a translucent powder. So I hit pan on it um, during my last project pan. So that's where that stands now. But my goal is to finish this. Next, I threw in my favorite Tarte lipstick. This is a deluxe sample size that was in the 2013 Give Me More lip set. So that's all I have left of this one. And if you saw my 30 day lipstick challenge 10 day update video. I talked about how much I loved this lipstick and how sad I was that it was discontinued from Tarte and I couldn't find it. Oh well. I was on the Sephora website just after Christmas when they had their 20% off all sale items thing going on. So I was looking through and thought that maybe I would buy a couple of things depending on the deal. When I saw the Glamazon lipsticks, they hadn't been on the Sephora website in months. They had been taken off. So I guess they had a lot of back tart stock that they decided to add for the special for some reason. I'm not complaining because I ended up buying two of these. This is the Tarte Glamazon lipstick in Inspired. Yeah, I bought two, but they were, I ended up getting two for, I don't know, 14 or $15 each or something like that. It was amazing. So, so happy that I have two full sizes of these now. I'm so ecstatic. I love love this lipstick. It is a beautiful My Lips But Better color. It is a berry shade, but it just looks so, so beautiful on the lips. So that's what it looks like swatched there on my hand. Love this lipstick, but now I have two full sizes so I can get rid of the sample size. I'm also slowly going through my lip glosses to weed out some of those. I don't know how I collected so many. Seriously, uh, lip gloss fairy, yeah. Uh, so this is just a little tiny baby lip gloss like it's really it's really tiny but I decided to start small instead of using a giant full-size lip gloss um, this is a spiritual lip gloss it's a vegan product it's just blue sparkly but when you put it on your lips it's basically just clear sparkles ah I just got some of my nose um, it's not it doesn't really smell like anything it's just a little gloss it's got a nice little cute little keychain thing on here. So I could hook it onto something if I felt the need to. Um, I'm just hoping to get through some glosses. So I thought that I would throw this one in here. I also threw in a second little gloss. This is an Urban Decay Lip Junkie in Naked. And I believe this came with one of the Naked palettes. Naked... Naked 2 maybe? Maybe it was Naked 1. I have no idea. So this is just a pink lip gloss. I actually put it on top of the lipstick that I'm wearing today. It's not bad. I'm just not a lip gloss person. The next thing I chose is one of my MAC eyeliners. This is a PowerPoint eyeliner in Engraved. Uh, I've used a lot of this. You guys might recognize this from some makeup baskets and stuff. So that's it swatched there. It's just a very, very basic black eyeliner. Uh, I really, really love this pencil. It's such a great staple to have. This was the first high-end eyeliner I ever purchased, and I will keep on repurchasing these, I think. Just, they're they're perfect. There's This formula is great. Highly, highly recommend the MAC PowerPoint eye pencils. 
Then to get through some of my little mascaras, I chose a little Laura Mercier mascara to use up, as well as a mini of a Buxom mascara. Um, basically, doing the numbers for my makeup inventory really made me see that I have a lot of products that I that I have a lot of duplicates of things that I really shouldn't have, so like mascaras, so I really need to weed down my mascaras. I honestly only need one or two at any time in my collection, so I'll be working away on some mascaras during my project pans. Then I chose another concealer. This is from Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Concealer Pencil in DEA. Uh, so that's all what I've got left on this. This is a really nice concealer. I was obsessed with this for a while, and then I just stopped using it, and I'm not really sure why. I mean, it really, it's a really great concealer. I have no complaints about it. I guess I just kept buying new things, so I wanted to try and play around with the new things so I wasn't using the old things. You guys know how it goes. So I decided to throw that in there because I remember really loving it, so I hope that I still do. And then lastly, I put in my travel size of the Urban Decay uh, B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. So this isn't, isn't a setting spray like D-Slick or the All Nighter. This is something you're supposed to put on your skin beforehand. However, you can use it throughout the day to kind of refresh your makeup. I don't know why I wasn't really using this. I guess I just it was just a step that I didn't think of. I would just do my primers and then just put makeup on and do a setting spray. And then you don't need to put this on top of a setting spray right away. So I wasn't using this and I saw it sitting there. So I thought I am going to put this into my project pan. So those are the 10 items I chose to use up completely. I'm also going to say next that this is going to be a year long project pan. I am not doing rounds. I am not stopping. This is going to be something that is going to be continuing to grow and change and adapt. And I'm really, really excited for that. So this is also where the part two comes in. Another 10 items. These items I chose to specifically hit pan on. After I hit pan on the item, I will then choose whether or not to move it into the products to use up completely basket or if I'm going to put it back into my collection and choose a new item. I decided to do this because I get bored really easy trying to finish up a powder, you know, cream product. I get really bored and especially now that I've been trying out some different things, even with blush, I want to use different products. I don't want to use the same thing for day after day, month after month. I want to use some different things. So I decided to do this because that way I am still getting a fair amount of use out of the product, but then I can swap in for something else and get some use out of that. And then I can always go back and add the product to the ones I want to finish at some point. Like I said, this is going to be all year, 12 months. So uh, I hope that made sense to you guys. It makes sense in my head. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. Um, but now I will show you the products that I have chosen to hit pan on. So the first item I have here is MAC Studio Fix. Uh, this is in the shade N4. So this is a powder foundation, but I really just use it as a normal face powder. The next product is also a repeat from my last project pan. This is a deluxe sample size of the Hula bronzer from Benefit. Oh, bronzers take forever to hit pan on, don't they? So something like this is potentially something that once I hit pan on, there might not be a whole lot left to use, so I might put it into the ones I can finish, but maybe there's another bronzer I have in my collection that I wanna try for a little bit first. So that's where I think this is gonna be a little bit more fun for me. Next is my favorite blush. This was my gateway blush. This is the CoverGirl uh, Clean Glow Blush in Roses. And I love, love this blush so much. This is a blush that made me realize that I can wear blush and it's actually a good thing. So because I love this so much, I wanna do the honor of, I wanna do it right and hit pan. Next, I chose a, another face powder. This is the Revlon Nearly Naked in Light. So this is, Just another face powder. It's a little bit darker than the MAC one, but. Next, I have an eyeshadow. This is a Dior Single Eyeshadow in Gold Touch. This is a beautiful, beautiful gold color. That is what this looks like here. It is so, 
I love Dior eyeshadows. Um, I actually had purchased some before I bought the Naked palette, so that's what that looks like swatched there. Like, it's gorgeous. I am such a gold eyeshadow lover. Love gold eyeshadows. And this one is no exception. Um, it's, definitely a lot, it's definitely a lot darker and warmer than Half Baked, which is in the Naked palette, which I'm currently panning. But I feel like Half Baked is gonna be one of the shadows that I'm going to probably, hopefully finish um, before some of the others. And I just couldn't live without a gold eyeshadow. So because I love this one so much, I thought that I would add this in here to hit pan on. Next, I chose a fairly new to me product. This is a Maybelline Color Tattoo in Deep Forest, which as you can probably guess from the name is a dark green color. I really haven't used this like hardly at all but it's a beautiful, I haven't really used this at all, I think maybe once or twice, but it's really nice. I have no complaints. There's nothing that I wouldn't like about it. It's just that I don't tend to reach for cream shadows a lot. I need to use an eye proper eyeshadow primer or my eye makeup just kind of melts away from my eyes. And because I picked that one, I decided to pick a couple of other ones as well. So I picked an Essence cream shadow in Copyright. And that's what this looks like here. It's exactly what it sounds like. It is a copper color. This was only a couple of dollars at the drugstore, um, but I really, really like it. And I did purposely choose shades that I thought would work well with the Naked palette. So I thought that copyright would work well along with the along with Deep Forest and along with a MAC paint pot in Groundwork. Uh, so that's what this one looks like here. Um, so Groundwork is a nice deep brown color. So that's copyright there and that is Groundwork from MAC. So super excited to be you playing around with some more cream eyeshadows. Then I chose a deluxe sample size highlight from Laura Mercier. This is the Baked Highlight in 01. So it is what it is. It is a baked highlighter. Um, even these mini sizes of these highlighters will last forever. Because really, how much highlighter do you use in a day? So I don't know how well that will show up there, but it's a very, very nice highlighter. Very, very shimmery. I just have a few powder um, highlights in my collection and I really don't need that many, so that's why I chose that one. The last thing I chose is a BB cream from Too Faced. This is the Air Buffed BB Cream Complete Coverage Makeup in Snow Glow. So that looks like that. And that's what it looks like on the inside there. So yeah, I, this was a huge purchase for me and then I really didn't end up liking it that much so I just kind of sat in my collection and I just kind of felt bad about not using it and then I tried using it with a couple of different brushes and I even tried using it with my beauty blender and I liked it it's not a super full coverage but it's definitely a nice base to recap I have 10 items that I want to finish completely and 10 items that I want to hit pan on this is going to be a constant rotation whenever an item gets finished, a new item will be added in. When an item gets, when I hit pan on an item, I will either be moving it into the items to finish or I will be putting it back into my collection and putting a new one in. So this is going to be a constant rotation of 20 items. This is a project 20 pan, 2015, 12 months. Are you excited? Because I am. So I've decided to do updates every second week. So, and they will be done on Thursdays for my Project 20 pan. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. It means so much to me. You guys have no idea. The support has been amazing. I love reading your guys' comments. It's just so cool. I've been telling my boyfriend, I've just been like, they said this and they're so supportive and he doesn't get any of it, but it's so much fun to talk about anyway, because this is just such a really great loving community i'm just so grateful for each and every one of you thank you so so much for taking the time to watch my video i hope you all had a wonderful new year's and i will see you in the next one bye